Hi Eileen Bayer, the PM here. Welcome to a new installment in our mini mental health series. And in this installment, we are going to be covering the George Syndrome. Before we begin, let me remind you that throughout the video, there will be three key words. When I get to the key word, I will say key word and what the key word is. So you're going to want to watch the full video so you can get the three key words at the end of the video in the comment section along with the genuine comment put down what the three key words are to be eligible for my giveaway when I reach 2,000 subscribers. So saying that, let's begin. <coughs> what is the George Syndrome? Well, the George Syndrome, commonly known as 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome, is a disorder caused when a small part of keyword chromosome 22 is missing. This deletion results in the poor development of several body systems. Medical problems commonly associated with the George include heart defects, poor immune system function, a cleft palate, complications related to low levels of calcium in the blood, and delayed development with behavioral and emotional problems. The number and severity of, of symptoms associated with the George syndrome vary, however. Almost everyone with this syndrome needs treatment from specialists in a variety of fields. So what are the symptoms of the George? <coughs> well, signs and symptoms of the George syndrome can vary in type and severity depending on what body systems are affected and how severe the defects are. Some signs and symptoms may be apparent at birth. But others may not appear until later in infancy or even early childhood. Signs and symptoms may include some combination of the following. A heart murmur and bluish skin due to poor circulation of oxygen-rich blood as a result of a heart defect. Frequent infections. Certain facial features such as an undeveloped chin, low-set ears, wide set eyes or a narrow groove in the upper lip, a gap in the roof of the mouth better known as cleft palate or other problems with the palate, delayed growth, difficulty feeding, failure to gain weight, or gastrointestinal problems, breathing problems, poor muscle tone, Delayed development such as delays in rolling over, sitting up, or other infant milestones. Delayed speech development or nasal sounding speech. Learning delays or disabilities or behavioral problems. <clears throat> so when should you see a doctor? Well, other conditions may cause signs and symptoms similar to the George syndrome. So it's important to get an accurate and prompt diagnosis if your child shows any signs or symptoms of what I just mentioned. Um, doctors may suspect the George syndrome at birth if certain conditions like a severe heart defect, cleft palate, or a combination of other factors typical of the George syndrome are readily apparent at birth. Diagnostic tests will likely begin before your child leaves the hospital. Also at well baby visits, your family doctor or pediatrician may suspect this disorder because of a combination of illnesses or disorders that become apparent over time. Other issues may come to the attention of your doctor during regularly scheduled well baby visits or annual checkups for your child. <clears throat> so what are the causes of the, the George syndrome? Do we know? Well, each person has two copies of chromosome 22. One key word inherited from each parent. If a person has the George syndrome, one copy of the chromosome 22 is missing a segment that includes 
an estimated 30 to 40 genes. Many of these genes haven't been clearly identified and aren't well understood yet. The region of the chromosome 22 that's deleted is known as 22Q11.2, and that's where they come up with that name. The deletion of genes from chromosome 22 usually occurs as a random event in the father's sperm or in the mother's egg. It may occur early during fetal development. Rarely, the deletion is an inherited condition passed to a child from a parent who also has deletions in chromosome 22, but may or may not have symptoms. So there is a slight possibility that you can inherit this from your parent, but it's very rare. Um, so what are the complications of the George syndrome? Well, the portions of chromosome 22 deleted in the George syndrome play a role in the development of a number of body systems. As a result, the disorder can cause several errors during fetal development. Common problems that occur with the George syndrome include heart defects. The George syndrome often causes heart defects that could result in an insufficient supply of oxygen-rich blood. For an example, defects may include a hole between the lower chambers of the heart, only one large vessel rather than two vessels leading out of the heart, or a combination of four abnormal heart structures. Hyperthyroidism. The four um, parathyroid glands in the neck regulate the levels of calcium and phosphorus in the body. The George syndrome can cause smaller than normal parathyroid glands that secrete too little parathyroid hormones, hormones, excuse me, leading to the hyperthyroidism. The condition results in low levels of calcium and high levels of phosphorus in the blood. Thymus gland dysfunction. The thymus gland located beneath the breastbone is where T cells, a type of white blood cell, mature. Mature T cells are needed to help fight infections. In, chil <clears throat> in children with this George syndrome, though, the thymus gland may be small or missing, resulting in poor immune function and frequent severe infections. Cleft palate. A common condition of the George syndrome is a cleft palate. In opening which is a cleft in the roof of the mouth, which is a palate, with or without a cleft lip. Other less visible abnormalities of palate may also be present and can make it difficult to swallow or produce certain sounds in speech. Distinct facial features. A number of particular keyword facial features may be present in some people with the George syndrome. These may include small, low-set ears, short width or eye openings, hooded eyes, a relatively long face, an enlarged nose tip, or a short or flattened groove in the upper lip. And as you can see here in this picture, it shows a small head, a low nasal bridge, small eye openings, a short nasal um passage that they had mentioned, the thin upper lip, the undeveloped jaw, um, a smooth vitreum, which is right here, flat mid-face, and epicentral folds. Okay? So those are the common facial um, things that you'll see with somebody with the George. Okay. <clears throat> Also, learning behavior, mental health problems. The George syndrome may cause problems with development and function of the brain, resulting in learning, social development, or behavioral problems. 
Delays in toddler speech development and learning difficulties are common. Some children develop attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, better known as ADHD, or autism spectrum disorder. Later in life, the risk of depression, anxiety disorders, and other mental health disorders increases. Autoimmune disorders. People who had poor immune function as children due to small or missing thymus may also have increased risk of autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis or Graves disease. Now there are other problems associated with the George syndrome. Um, a large number of medical conditions may be associated with the George syndrome such as hearing impairment, poor vision, breathing problems, poor kidney function, and relatively short stature for one's family. In some cases, the George syndrome may be passed from an infected parent to a child. If you are concerned about a family history of the George syndrome, or if you already have a child with the syndrome, you may want to consult a doctor who specializes in genetic disorders, called a uh, genologist, or a genetic counselor for help in planning future pregnancies. So that's um, the beginning of the George syndrome. Um, Wednesday we'll be going over the diagnosis and treatment of the George syndrome. Um, before I leave, let me remind you to always look with your heart and see with the heart and not with the eyes because when you see with your eyes, you're missing out what's important because the eyes, what's important is invisible to the eyes and only the heart can see that which is the inside, the soul, what makes up the person. This is just the shell that the eye sees, okay? So remember, always uplift, encourage, and inspire people. Never judge a book by the cover. Look deep down. Before you say something that can be hurtful to somebody, think. What is that person going through? What is, what's their life like? We have no clue. We don't know what their life is like. We can't walk in their shoes like they can't walk in ours. And so be that person saving grace. Be that one person that just gives them that little extra oomph or that little extra push to keep going. Don't be the one to bring them down because that could be the last straw that breaks the camel's back because we don't know what they've gone through the day. And our little comment, we may not think it's something major, but to them it might be. And it might be bad enough where they want to take their life. And it's not right to be like that. So always think about other people before you open your mouth, look with the heart. When you look with your heart and you see through your heart, more than likely that won't happen. So until I see you all again, remember, you out there are important to me. Yes, you. You're important to me because you matter. You're one of a kind. And I love you just for the way you are. So until I see you tomorrow, love you. Bye.